Hi guys, Simple Sheriff here. It's been a while since I've been able to actually game. Doing quite a bit of the shorts with uh, our channel's mascot, <laughs> the little puppo. So we haven't really, ha I really haven't had time to play anything lately because of life being so hectic, but I'll zip it for a moment while this cutscene goes. Take it back, jump off. <laughs> Be advised, kilo drink three and kilo drink four. Your current LD is too hot. Too hot to handle. Dot, standby to receive a response. <laughs> yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Surveys is presently under siege from the Corvette class government vessel. Due to the sensitive nature of the facility, limited orbital rounds has been put on to eliminate it. No, no one Regrettably, my are. efforts to obtain relevant data on enemy forces have been unsuccessful. However, current defensive forces are insufficient. Only has requested Team Noble's direct intervention to help secure sword base. Alright, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. I don't know if I left off here for some reason it would literally not load. So I do apologize if we're playing it. I didn't it wasn't my choice. It kept crashing every time I did. Try to load it. Also played. Alright guys, let's get into it. Let's freaking do this. Reloading. Yep, oh, we're loaded. Locked and loaded. I'm pretty sure it might have been further than this. Ah, this seems familiar. Oh well. I want to do it a continuing playlist with the plan, but since it wouldn't even load, kind of stuck at the moment. It wouldn't even let me do a rally point, like a, like a checkpoint, and the equivalent of it. All right, swap it out. No, oh, get back here. Son of a gun, it's going over to you. There we go. Cool. Get it out. Boom! Give me that headshot. No grenades, that's fun. No grenades, no problem. Kind of a dumb move, but whatever. See if it'll recharge the other way. Now I'm stuck at a three point. Oh well. Oh well, it's been forever since I've been playing a video game, not gonna lie. I'm in the middle of different job things right now. It's been uh, quite busy with the home life, unfortunately, but that is what it is, you know? Keep going through. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, here, alarm. Dude, my Christmas. Alright, let's power through this. Grenade out. Alright, you got it. And normally I use my headphones, so it's probably not the best audio now that I think about it, but that's all good. My mic went out on my headset, so I've been doing it this way. I'm going to look into getting another headset. Just so the quality is a little better of the audio. Off the game. <laughs> Not going to lie, that was pretty satisfying. Swap it out. Med pack back there. Oh, hi, you're the bad one.
Hi. You got a bigger gun. I'm gonna get the med pack over and just think it's one headshot in. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, that's out of ammo. It's fine. It's fine. I think there's actually a reload. If I recall, it'll be in this area. I think this one opens up. Unless I might be firefight, I'm thinking of. Regardless, let me get that med pack. Get it. No, this firefight, I'm thinking of. I guess we're clear. I think there would be another sniper rifle ammo. I'm just not thinking straight, I guess. Okay. Da -da -da. Anywho, guys, there's been a lot of. Uh, we're slowly growing in uh, subscriptions, subscribers to the channel. We're at 26, I believe, at the moment. Now let's see, uh, kind of a stretch, but I'm gonna see if I can get to 30 within the next, uh, the goal is probably the next month or two. So I'm not expecting a big influx of people, you know, on the small channel. Honestly, we're just hanging out and doing stuff, you know? But, yeah, um, did, did you guys want to suggest anybody? I know it's mainly the YouTube shorts with the mascot, or my little, my puppo, but if you guys want some uh, gaming content that's uh, eh, a little different, different in the fact that you got someone like me rambling, I could do a video here of a vlog, um, but things right now have been, uh, oh wait, hold on guys. I want to see if let's get the mold. No. Didn't even get one of them. Are you serious? Oh, what a bunch of balls. Anyway. Yeah, I probably just want to die at that point. But I'll do a vlog here in a little while. Get you guys up to speed on what's going on. If you're even interested. But you know what? We're all just people here. We all have our own stuff going on, you know? But, um, I got some medical stories I told you guys I would tell you one of these days if you wanted it. So, uh, if you want, I got some, uh, some, well, you know what? We're gonna slap a little, uh, disclaimer on here. So, I have worked in the medical field for about, let's say, about six, going on six years now. So, uh, <laughs> I had some stories from some nurses I used to work for and my own experiences. But, one story. Where I live and the laws that govern where I live, if two people want to do their thing, you know, you can't stop them. They just, you just let them do their thing, you know. But what happened was there was a uh, couple that went out to do their stuff, you know, their business. And uh, what happened was they, uh, these, these two people grabbed their, you know, lube and went out to do their thing. The nurse checked them out and they went out to do their business. They come back, the two people, which they're both male, they both have two male patients. They ended up, they didn't grab the lube. Terrifying part, they grab Icy Hot. Icy Hot and oh my god. They ruptured their hemorrhoid, bleeding, screaming, bloody murder. And this poor nurse <laughs> She didn't have the they call it gauze, they call it two by two by two by two inches, so it's about maybe that by that. The little small small stuff. And they didn't have the four by four. The, this it, she's all by herself. This nurse is all by herself and it's like Oh God. So she had to stop the bleeding. So she's got these tiny little gauze pads and she's holding it over each of the person's literally rectum in the butt. And it's bleeding profusely. And she's just sitting there. She's just sitting there with gauze in each hand, like spread out like this. And she's like, I don't want to be a nurse no more. Oh man, uh, it's, yeah, I'll throw a tidbit in here every once in a while, <laughs> keep it interesting, but uh, not more than interesting at this point, it's kind of, uh... <laughs> anywho, I've got other stories that are actually uh, 
like a WTF almost. Like that one's not just a WTF, it's just like a oh my god. But there is some stories that I've learned personally and experienced in my uh, six years or so of doing this. So I'll keep you guys, if you go in the comments and you want to hear some more uh, <laughs> stories, then uh, definitely leave a comment, a like, and then let me know if you guys want to hear some more uh, stories. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of them. My family has been in the medical field, like most of the family is. My immediate family. And uh, I'm going on six years of doing nursing, so it's been, I've had some fun stories. But, yeah. Oh, that's up. switching this up mid video I'm thinking you know what guys I'm not gonna play Halo I take it back I take it back this is a free this is gonna be one of those uh, improvised videos at this point I guess you know I was thinking about playing Halo I'm just not feeling it you know but I'm not going to stop the video because I don't edit stuff here we make it right in the moment, at least as of right now, we do it right in the moment, so, um, you know what, I take it back, I'll play Halo, but we're not going to do a campaign, we're just going to do a good old freaking, I want to do a firefight, why not, um, da da da, no, that's not what I want, I want to suggest the fight, da 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 da, but yeah, I've got uh, some fun stories if you guys ever want to hear. Just let me know. It's kind of turned into uh, a little bit of a different video, but that's fine. It's all good. Don't want that one. Let's do... I've done that one quite a few. Waterfront. Now this one is a pain in the ass. You have, if I recall, you have snipers all over the tops and stuff. Firefight Classic. This is one of my settings, I don't know, but it's also on Legendary, so I'm not expecting to last long. Because um, this one, even when I was good at it back in the day when it came up on 360, it still was so freaking hard. Apparently I had this for unlimited time and unlimited waves, so I'll cut it after a little bit, but yeah. If you guys ever get uh or want to hear any anything medical, let me know. Okay. Or if you guys have uh well <laughs> I can't give medical advice, that'd be a bad idea. But yeah. You know what? This, so I think, yeah, they come in here. What's this? Oh, targeting place. Right off the bat. Alright, alright, I get it. I, oh god! I do get it. Oh, I'm just, that's a dead end. Okay, this is just a badly for me. And it's badly for me. <laughs> Kilimanjaro. That was a waste. I think. No, I don't have unlimited lives. Okay, I was thinking for a second I did. I gotta back up, guys. Hand grip is not a good spot. Level of gamer wrist, even though I'm the game that much. Normally in my job, I gotta basically please people all day, make them happy. Not only just, like, make them feel better, but I have to literally, like, praise people and do lifting and... Lots of stuff that goes along with nursing. I mean, I've worked in the hospital. I've worked all over the place. It just uh, comes with the territory, I guess, you know? Holy hell. Yeah. Definitely not in the zone, that's for sure. But if you guys ever want to ask. Well, you know what? One of these days, I'm going to get an open invite, 
what I'll do is, if I can, I'll get a server started, or I'll get a lobby started. We can actually, uh, if you guys want to, you can play with me. Why not? I'm cool with that. I haven't been able to play with my buddy uh, C Squash at all lately. Because he's been busy. I know uh, the content hasn't been great without. Because uh, it's just, you know what I mean? It's like it's not the same unless you're playing with someone, you know? Not that it feels lonely, it just feels like. I mean, of course, I got you guys, which it's a different feel, you know? You at least have someone to feel like you're talking to, you know? Or actually being there in the moment. But I feel like, as the older I've gotten when it comes to playing games and stuff, you know, it feels better when you're playing with other people. It just that, that kind of, that kind of just cooperation, whether it be survival, what like Minecraft, Halo, whatever. It's just always good to have a buddy, someone to play with, you know, someone to just have fun with, really, you know. But. The main thing is, guys, is that you be good to yourself, you know? There's not always time you can hang around to everybody, but if you can, uh, just have someone to hang out with and talk to, that's the main thing. I've seen a lot of sad things in my job, unfortunately, but, you know? Anywho, I'm rambling tonight talking out my, you know what, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about, those mother efforts, <laughs> great content, but you know what, it's more, this is more of a vlog, actually, I think about it, so, uh, a while back, we had a foster kid, and that's what the whole, uh, home life situation's been, trying to help this kid out, you know, and it's been kind of rough, you know, but, this kid's learning, and he's, you know, he's doing good. He's learned quite a bit. He's a fun kid. But it's just been hard, you know, because I mean, and my wife have never had a kid, you know. And we weren't able to for, the, for the, so far. But it's been, it's been good. Things have been good, but it just, it just, it was a whole different thing when you become an adult and you're not an adult, but when you become a parent, it's a lot harder, you know, because you, you're never prepared for that. Usually you get a, you know, raise them, you know, from like the day one, you know, but with fostering, it's, it's different. It's a whole other ball game, it feels like, you know, but... You do the best you can, you know, no one's going to be a perfect parent, everybody has mistakes, everybody has flaws, the main thing is that you try to improve on it, you know. The main thing with anything in life, I gotta say, is just do the best you can, that's all you can do. And if you make a mistake, you know, work on it, work to fix it, you know. You know, it's just, I don't know, I've been through a lot of different counseling and stuff and I specialize in uh, certain areas of mental health like a lot of training kind of thing you know a lot of research it's not so much research as first hand experience and when it comes to learning it's literally learning you know I have I have learned of this stuff in my job of what I do there's a lot that goes into it but I don't know I don't know. So, uh, story time. This has turned into, this is officially turned into a vlog. But, um, so there was this one person I used to take care of that passed away. I didn't get real bonded to this person in particular, but this person was a hoarder. Like, and I mean hoarder, I mean like full on episode of hoarders on television. And get this. Not only was it a hoarder situation where stuff was literally as tall as these ceilings, which is about seven or eight foot high, right? Uh, this person had no running water. At all. No running water, so you might ask how she went to the bathroom. I'll tell you that. It was disgusting, because nursing is not all, you know, glamour things. It's not all, you don't have this medication, oh, you do this, and you better. No, it's... 
When it comes to CNA, which is I am, it's uh, you learn and you go through experiences that are bad. But this specific person that passed away uh, had no running water. So the way she went to the bathroom, you couldn't clean dishes, you couldn't, like, you know, you can do a lot. But what happened was uh, she had no running water, so she would go to the bathroom in a commode, which is one of those portable toilet things. Not like a honey bucket, but like for someone that can't move around, can't, you know, go from place to place without being very winded. Because this person had COPD, which is basically like their lungs don't work properly anymore. They have to have oxygen to help supplement some of that. And uh, the scout was about to put a garbage bag in the commode. So basically the toilet in this little, you know, portable toilet. And then have to throw that into the garbage, the city public garbage. It was just like, oh my god. This person was not the nicest. Because, you know, props to all the nurses and the aides out there, all the people working medical and going through this. They're not heroes for, like, you know, doing... They're not heroes for, you know, the C word, this pandemic. It's because they have to put up with everybody and anybody. If they're if they're having a bad time, medical is literally customer service, but everybody's in pain and frustrated. It's it's not easy. It's not an easy thing, you know. Yeah. So I want to give a shout out to all the nursing people out there that are having to deal with people that are just unreasonable, you know, because. We get some Karens out there. People that just, you can't do anything right. They make you feel like, oh, you're absolute garbage. Like, you didn't do this right. Or like, when people, because they elderly can't feed themselves, you know, they can't take care of themselves. So, if you have to feed somebody, then the so most times the family looks like, oh, they need to, oh, you need to make them eat. Oh, you need to make them eat. Like, well, as good as that sounds, you know, trying to help people gain weight or keep weight because they're eating, but you can't force people to do that. Like, if you're full, if your stomach is full, or if you just want to go, you know, like, you can't force people to eat. You can encourage it, like, hey, you want to have this? Or, hey, you know. It, you just can't. Because it's not, it's just not right. And if you try to force somebody, it's not going to make them happy. You know? It's going to be like, hey, why? Like, this person that can't, they're closing their mouth, like, you know, trying to stop it from you feeding them because they're not hungry. And, uh, and unfortunately, most family members don't get that, you know. Like, it's good you can improve their lives and do it again, but if they don't want to eat, they're not going to get forced them, you know? So, anyway, guys. I'm on Legend, by the way. I know we're just, we're just talking, but I'm on Legendary, and I, this is one of the harder ones, in my opinion, when I last had played. It was, like, when I was maybe... God, I want to say 18, but it's probably younger than that. When did Reach come out? Anyway, guys, just wanted to, uh, really, I just wanted to chat, really, I figured some content in the background, that way at least you, uh, have something to watch while I talk, but, you know, if you guys ever want to hear some stories, or if you guys, uh, just, you know, want to talk, go ahead and we can chat in the comments and have some, uh, Basically, just have a good conversation, you know. There was someone that's pretty, as I'll tell you guys, there's not many comments in this channel already. We don't have that much, or I, at this point. But there was someone that said, uh, clean your room in the comments. Because one of the ones of uh, the shorts was uh, the dog. <laughs> it was a messy bedroom, and I'm like, you know what? That's fair, but welcome to parenting, you know. <laughs> And you know what? The majority of people look like don't uh, don't watch the gaming videos, but you know what? For those people that really just wanna 
be involved in the community. In this community we're starting to grow. Thank you guys. I just want to say thank you, you know. Thank you for all that you guys do, you know, supporting the channel. I know it's just a small channel where we basically just BS, which, you know, that's fine with me. That's all we re I really care is, you know, having that community aspect and actually hanging out, you know. But, I'll probably cut this short. We're on about 25 minutes, and it seems like most people don't like to have 25 minute videos, like longer videos, you know. So, this will be my last life, and I'll cut this off, and I'll pop it on YouTube for you guys to watch. If you guys ever want to hang out, you know, just on a game, I'll, uh, I'll try and set something up, you know. If you guys really want to do it, let's do it. Yeah. Alright, that's it. If you can still hear me, it's time to pull out. If you can still hear me, if you're not dead and lying on the floor. That's an interesting game dodge. You can hear me. It's time to retreat. Well, yeah, you're dead. I mean... <laughs> Wave 2. Oh, my God. That's bad. Anyway, guys, you know, I just wanted to say hi, and we haven't been able to game for a while, and most of you guys watch the shorts and don't actually watch the videos, but if you guys do like the content, if you do like the stories or just, you know, the vlogs, I know you guys like the dog. I know that much, but if you guys want to vlog or anything, make sure to leave a comment and uh, what you think I should uh, play or if you guys want to hear some uh, <laughs> some more stories, you let me know. I'm always happy to involve with the community and talk with you guys. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. And peace. Stay safe out there.